Again, I'm back again with another video. You know what I'm saying? Leave a like, comment, subscribe. And today I'm going to be teaching you how to take your Shuttle Corsa F1 experience from this. And turn it into this. Now, I know what a lot of you guys are going to be saying, just another app to download. Yes, this is a 10 year old game, but once you get this set up, it literally takes two seconds to turn on or turn off. So if you like real life accurate mods, I feel like this is definitely worth it. This is the F123 TV overlays for a subtle Corsa. So we are using Sim Hub. The first thing you're going to want to do is download Sim Hub if you don't have it. And I'm going to leave a link in the description. There's going to be three links and these are the three files that you need. Download Sim Hub and then download these three links. One of them is for the TV style side scrolling. The other one is the Halo HUD you see in the middle of the car. And the last one will be the F1 2023 TV overlays. To simply explain it, you're downloading SimHub to run the overlays, which are separate files. After you watch this video, you can install any overlays you can find for SimHub. So once you know how to do this, you can take any F1 style, any TV style, WEC, you can put them on the screen. So first things first, you wanna download SimHub. I wanna let you guys know this has nothing to do with the actual Assetto Corsa game besides making sure your information is right. You don't have to change anything within Assetto Corsa. This is essentially learning a new app and a new skill. So what you're gonna wanna do is go up here to games or go to dashboard. The only game I have selected is Assetto Corsa. You guys can do that to your preferences and you click configure game. That is all you need to do with Assetto Corsa. It's not gonna change anything, just configuring SimHub to work with the game. Second, second, like I said, let's use all the links below. We're gonna install the TV side extension. So once you download the three files, the first one you're gonna wanna open up is this GS TV style leaderboard. Simply just double click it and it'll open. And this is where the meat of this tutorial is. A lot of YouTube videos don't explain this correctly or it's really complicated. So pay attention. I promise you guys will have a good outcome. This right here is directions. Read me first. A lot of people skip this. This is on paper directions and this is what I followed to get this to work. Following the YouTube tutorials for me did not work. So first thing you're gonna wanna do is step one, copy the dash templates folder into program files, sim hub or wherever you have your sim hub folder installed. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up another file explorer and I'm gonna use that path in the directions and I'm gonna go find my sim hub folder. Simply drag the dash templates into here. Step two, you're gonna wanna copy the Gary Swallow plugin file into the same folder where you just put the dash templates. It might seem like you're putting random files in random places, but just follow these steps right here. This comes with the mod. It gives you everything you need. If you're having any problems, there's solutions here. So you guys really don't have to listen to me talk. You can go download this. And then if you're still confused, you can come back to the video. So like I said, we have our Sim Hub folder open. We're gonna take the Gary Swallow plugin and we're gonna copy it into the blank space over here in our Sim Hub folder. And lastly, the most time consuming part of this is you wanna open up fonts to be installed. And depending on what version of Windows you're running, if you're on Windows 10, like me, you'll have to double click each font and then click install on the top left, or you can select them all, left click, and some of you guys will have the option to install. This is the most time consuming part. It took me like five to 10 minutes just to double click each file and install it but it's definitely worth it. So once you copy the DAS templates folder, you copy the Gary Swallow plugin and install all the fonts in the folder by double clicking them. All you wanna do is open SimHub and activate the newfound plugin. This is where a lot of you guys are gonna get tripped up because if you don't activate the plugin, you can still install it, but it will not work. So activate the plugin and if you need to go back to SimHub, 
So this is the free version of SimHub. What you're gonna wanna do to make sure all your plugins are active is come down here to add, remove features, and then you can scroll through and make sure that the plugin you're using is tick green. So for this one, we're using Gary Swallow plugin. We wanna make sure this is on, okay. And then you wanna make sure that your game is selected. You come to your settings games and just make sure you have a set of course or whatever game you're using selected out of the list. And now that's it for SimHub at this moment. We're gonna minimize that and we're gonna come back here to our downloads. And like I said, there was three files. The first one, GSTV, we're done with. This is simply installing the overlays and installing the Halo Hub. So using that plugin that we just installed on SimHub, you're gonna wanna come over here to your overlay, F1 TV overlay SimHub, and you're gonna wanna seven zip or open it. If you double click it, it'll open an Internet Explorer, but just extract it, open it, and then you'll be met with these three files no matter what you use. This is the dashboard best lap, the leader, and the timing. So now that you have these three files here, I got confused and that's the reason I'm making this tutorial. I thought like anything else, you could just drag and drop these files either into the SimHub app or into the SimHub folder, but you can't. What you're gonna wanna do is select all of these files and copy them to your desktop. Make sure they go to your desktop is gonna be the easiest way to do this. And once they do, they're gonna be right here and all you wanna do is double click it and then import into SimHub library. This will import it straight into there. It's very, very easy. Extract it to your desktop, double click it. You're gonna wanna click this. It's gonna say successful or not. If it's successful, you're good. So after you do that for all three of those, come back to SimHub and we're gonna go down here to Dash Studio. And I know this is a lot guys, just keep up with me. What are we, what did we just install? Overlays. We're going to come over here to Dash Studio Overlays, and now you should have everything you installed up here at the top. We have all the Gary Swallow extensions, and voila, you just installed Overlays and installed SimHub, and everything is working fine. We come back to our downloads, and you want to do the same for the Halo HUD. You double click the Halo HUD, and you have this one file right here, the same as the other files that you drag to your desktop and then you double click it and click install for the Halo Hub. This Sim Hub file right here, you wanna open this up, user plugin F1 TV. You copy this to the same Sim Hub folder, your main Sim Hub folder that we used in the beginning. You simply copy this file into that. So you've installed the overlays, you've installed the Halo Hub, only thing I would say is come over here to your settings and you're gonna wanna copy these settings, auto detect the game, and then come and look at your plugins. You just installed it, so you wanna look at it and you wanna turn on and go through all these settings, turn on everything you want. We have our lap count, pit count, interval, show short names, all of these settings right here, our themes, and those are all of my settings. So now setting this up after you installed everything, we're gonna come back to Dash Studio. And like I said, we're gonna click new overload layout. Add overlay. And then you have the list of everything you just installed. You're just gonna click the green parts of everything you wanna put in. For F1 TV, we're gonna do the Halo HUD, the best lap, the leaderboard, the dashboard time, and I also like to use broadcast driver details or F1 TV driver names from Gary Swallow. You click OK, and then everything should pop up on your screen like this. Everything will have no data, but as you can see, the reason I put it up now is so I can show you guys this. This is just an overlay. It's an overlay you're turning on and off for when you want to do F1 races or whatever style overlay you have. You turn it on and off yourself. You're gonna wanna switch this to manual. Come down here, layout automatic. It can automatically go when the game comes on, but me personally, I had some trouble with the Halo HUD coming on when it was on automatic. So I switch it to manual and I can literally turn the HUD off and turn it on as soon as I get in the game and everything is in the same place. So if we wanna edit our layout, you can add stuff, you can delete stuff. 
But when you get in the game, you're gonna wanna configure the Halo HUD. Everything else right now, you can simply make bigger. You can go to the settings on stuff. You don't wanna change any of this unless you're having some rendering problems. But yeah, you can definitely change it. The placement, the size of everything, you can put it where you want and you can change this on the fly. And that's it. You have everything set up. If I missed anything, let me know down in the comment section below. But I'm gonna get into the game and I'm gonna show you guys how to configure everything from a subtle Corsa using Content Manager. You guys can look around SimHub and tweak the settings. It's not gonna change anything. But once you get into Content Manager, you're gonna wanna use this to set up your races. I don't know how this works with Vanilla Assetto Corsa, but you're gonna wanna come over here and add all your cars, set up your race like you normally would, pick your track, pick your car, and you wanna come over here to Opponents and then click Detailed Settings. This is where you get everything to sync up between SimHub and Assetto Corsa. SimHub already did everything when you configured it, but you're gonna want everything visual. So you're gonna wanna add in driver's names and driver skins. And the cars I'm using right now are the Sim Dream Grand Prix 2024 cars. So they all have different files. They're all different cars and they come with presets for the name and the skin. That's it, and then you wanna save the preset. I saved it as GPF1 2024 TV so that I know when I do my TV things, this is gonna work. So once you load into the game, what you're gonna to wanna to do is, I like to come over here and just click load. Tip for you, if you go to pits, the Halo HUD will disappear and it won't come back until you start driving again. Don't think it messes up. It's just gonna disappear. I don't know if that's a bug or not. But yeah, once you get in here, as you can see, the overlay is simply just an overlay that you're running yourself. So if you like the way it is, you can simply just click the minimize and you're good in here. You're gonna wanna change, you're gonna wanna change your point of view. So like I said, when you get into pits, the Halo HUD is gonna disappear. But as soon as you start driving, it will come back. But yeah, you're gonna wanna configure that to be the size of your halo. So if we pull out here, it comes right back. But as you can see, it's not the right size. So what you're gonna wanna do is while the game is running, you just wanna simply load up your overlay control, hit edit layout, and then we're gonna do this right here. Come down here, make it a bit bigger. Put it in the right position and then for it to stay in this position and stay this size you hit save you hit okay and then you hit minus and now you're in the game with your layout working everything up here should work as you can see on the right side it works the halo hud works you can clearly see that the leaderboard is working let's say you're at the end and you want to go to exit but hey, the HUD is still here. So you come down here to the bottom, you click your overlay control. This is gonna be your main control panel. And all you simply do is either hide it while you do whatever you wanna do. You go back to Assetto Corsa, switch around settings, or you can come back up here and just click close layout and then it will close it and your SIM hub will pop back open. Like I said, if I miss anything, let me know in the comment section down below. I'll be glad to help you guys out. But a lot of tutorials are too long or too confusing. Nobody put this as simple as I did. And if you stayed to the end, congratulations. There's also some F1 2024 TV plugins that you wanna come down here and you wanna turn everything on that I have.